Uh, hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an edit in Photoshop uh, in the style of Giacomo Costa. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that he uses all different elements of architecture and different shapes from buildings in his work. So what you need to do is open up as many photographs as you can of buildings and streetscapes and architecture in Photoshop and I've just got one, two, three, four, five, six different pictures open that I can choose elements from to put onto um, a new piece. So it's a, sort of like a new collage. So I've got my pictures open, um, but the first thing I need to do is create another new blank document. So I'm going to go to file new and how big it is depends on how big you want to make it basically. So I'm going to just leave the height and the size as they are. Um, and just press OK. And that looks like that. So I want mine to be portrait and that's fine. That's portrait. So then from my pictures, I need to decide which bit of my photographs I want to be near the bottom of my blank one. This is my blank one. It says untitled number eight up here. I actually like this shape building with this line across from this one. Um, now to cut just the building out, there's a couple of ways you can do it, but I think to get the most accurate way of doing it is to use this tool on the left hand side. So it's the third one down called lasso tool. And if you right click it, there's three options. One is free drawing where you can draw any shape. One is drawing with straight lines and one is a magnetic one. I'm going to go for the drawing with straight lines so that it's polygonal. It's the middle one. And just before I use it, I want to zoom in so I can see the edge of the building and cut it out really accurately. So I'm not just guessing. Um, I'm going to press Z for zoom or this little zoom button on the left hand side. I'm going to zoom in. And I want to be able to see the top and the bottom of the bits I want to cut out. So I think I've zoomed in enough there. I'm going to go back to my lasso tool. You can press L on your keyboard. Remember, it's the middle one. So always check that it's got the straight lines. And all you do then is select the bit you want by clicking. So I'm going to click in this corner and I've, I've let go of the, the mouse and I'm going to drag my clicker up to the other corner, click again, and I'm just pressing the mouse once and then move your key, uh, sorry, move your mouse. And try and capture as many of these shapes on the edge of the building as possible. Now I'm going to go down to the right on this bit because I like this um, funny shape here. So I'm going to go down and then back up. So I don't want those people's heads in. I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to go all the way around your building, all the way around the shape that you like. Just going to go up here, get these little bits in. A bit difficult to see. I probably could have zoomed in a little bit more. Now you'll notice when you get back to where you started, a little circle appears on the lasso tool, and that means you've made a loop. So if I click that, all of the building is selected. Okay. And all you're going to do then is copy and paste. So it's Control C for copy. I'll paste it onto my blank document. So go back up here, press Control V to paste it. Now to move anything on your blank document, you need to use this move tool, or again, just press V on its own without pressing Control. And I'm going to put that down here. Now it looks quite big. So to change the shape or the size, you press Control T. If I want to make it smaller, but if you notice, it's going skew with. So if I want to keep it in proportion, I'm going to press Shift on my keyboard, keep hold of it, and then drag it from the corners. I think that looks quite, quite good like that. So I'm going to do that. If you want to spin it round, you can move your mouse to the middle or the corners when you've got your shape like that. I'm going to move that down a little bit. I'm going to straighten it up a tiny bit more. I'm looking for that line to be straight. Now you can nudge this with your arrow keys on your keyboard. So I'm just going to nudge it down a little bit. When you're happy with it, you can press the tick button or you can press enter on your keyboard. I've got the first part of my collage here. 
I'm going to look back at my pictures and choose a bit that I would like to put on this side over here. I'm going to go for this one, I think. So press Z on my keyboard to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in until I can see the top and then the bottom of the shape. That one's cut out. I'm going to use L for my lasso tool. And I'm just going to start selecting the outside of the building. So I'm just going to click once on each corner and then move my mouse. Click, click, move my mouse. All the way back up to the top. This one's a bit quicker. I've made a loop and the little circles appeared on the lasso tool. And there you go. I'm going to copy and paste it. So control C for copy. Control V to paste. V on its own to move this. Now, I don't like the way it's in front of this building. So I need to go to my layers, double click on layers here. And I want layer one to be at the top. I want this one in the background. If you want to select your layer, right click. So right click and it's layer two. I'm going to move that one down. I want it to be a bit bigger. So I need to press control T to transform. Keep hold the shift on my keyboard and I'm going to bring that one up there press enter now I think actually this one is probably a bit too big so I need to make it smaller again so I'm going to select it layer one control T and I'm going to make it a tiny tiny bit smaller I'm going to move it with my keys on my keyboard it's a bit like that I've got a little gap here so I'll go back to layer two control T and I'm just going to move that one down little bit and then to the side okay I'm going to go and find another picture now, I like this shape here but it's really far away so I need to zoom in quite far to that one press L on my keyboard I'm going to click and move it click and move click and move this bit at the top. It's a bit difficult to see with the tree, but I'll just ignore the tree. It's the building I'm interested in. Can move it like that. I'm going to go up. You don't want the black bit, just like that white bit. And I don't want this brown bit either, so I'm going to move that. And I've made a loop here. So I've got my selection. I'm going to copy it, Control C. Then control V back on here. Now it looks really odd just floating there. So, sorry, use my move tool and move it around a little bit. I think it probably needs to go behind this layer. So I'm going to drag my layer down and then press control T. Yeah. Now I don't want to make it so big that when I press enter, it's not very clear, it's a bit unfocused, it's not very sharp. It needs to be a bit smaller that. Control T, keep and hold the shift on my keyboard. And I'm gonna actually move it. Spin it round. I think I might put it a bit like that. Now I need to think of something else that I can put just in the middle so it's not floating on white. And basically we'll go through all of my pictures this one's quite a nice shape, I like that. Just do one more. I'm going to select this shape. Press L on my keyboard. I'm going to do this bit really quickly. You need to take your time, but I'll do it quickly to speed things up for you. So I'm just going to go around the outside of the building. I'm going to stop here, go down. All the way around. Now, I can't see where I started. So I can't make a loop. So if you know that you're near where you started, but you can't make a loop, just press double click. And it's made the loop for me. So I've double clicked it. Control C. Control V. Okay. Now, this shape, I want it to match this one. So it's sort of facing the wrong way, so I can flip it. So we're able to edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then I press Control T. 
rotate it a little bit. I need to make it a little bit bigger, like that. I think it's in the right place in terms of behind the other design. I'll just press enter when I'm happy with it. Now this one still looks a bit funny, layer three, so I'm going to make it a tiny bit smaller. In fact, maybe I'll try it over here. I think it looks a bit better there now. Make it a bit smaller. Okay. So, build your collage up like that. Start from the bottom and work your way up. And look at which shapes are really unusual on the edges of your buildings. And I think that's about everything. 